Mocha Keyboard Shortcuts. Optimize your Mocha tracking and roto skills by learning keyboard shortcuts. In this short tutorial, I will show you our top keyboard shortcuts as well as show you how to customize your keys to your preferences or by host. Whether you are running Mocha AE, Mocha Pro, or accessing the built-in Mocha found in Boris Continuum or Sapphire plugins, all versions of Mocha have customizable keyboard shortcuts. Let's go over some of our more commonly used tool shortcuts from our default Mocha view found under File, Keyboard. Workspaces are new in Mocha 2019, and we can switch via the drop-down menu or we can use keyboard shortcuts. Control-1 for the Essentials layout is great for beginners and simple tasks. Control-2 for Classic layout is used for advanced modules such as Remove, Stabilize, and 360 or VR work. Control-3 is for the Big Picture view. And Control-4 is for a roto-optimized layout. To change your view, holding the X key and dragging lets you pan around your shot with the hand tool. Holding Z and dragging allows you to zoom in and out to get more accuracy with your spline tools, or you can simply use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. To reset your canvas to 100%, select the forward slash. Or, one of my favorites, zoom to fit by selecting the asterisk symbol or Shift-8. One of Mocha's most important tools is the planar surface, which represents our tracking data. Show and hide the surface by toggling Alt and the number 6. The grid helps you visualize while you align your surface. Show and hide the grid by toggling Alt-7. To show or hide all of the screen overlays, including splines, the surface, and grid tools, use the apostrophe key to toggle overlays on and off. This is especially useful when inspecting removal or stabilization module renders. When positioning the surface, we have useful shortcuts and modifiers. Hold Q to translate, or if using Mocha 2019, you can simply grab the center point. Hold W to rotate, I always think rotate, and the surface will actually rotate from wherever you click. To rotate from the center, simply mouse over the corner of the surface. Hold E to scale from wherever you click, or mouse over the surface edges or points to scale on the X or Y. To scale and maintain aspect ratios, hold Shift and then mouse over the surface corner. Once you know Q for position, W for rotate, and E for scale, the same shortcuts can be used to edit selected splines. The shortcuts will respect which point you have selected, and you can quickly bounce around and make dynamic changes on spline points. Another great tip for editing points is to use the up and down arrows to nudge your selected spline points. Holding Shift and using the arrow keys increases the nudge to 10 pixel increments. We even have vertical nudging if you have an extended keyboard using 7, 9, 1, and 3. The Transform tool also helps scale, rotate, and position our spline layers depending on how you mouse over the tool. When working with splines for masking and edge feathering, Mocha has selection tools to interactively switch between the types of selection tools you might need. If I want to modify the feather on this shape, we can select Control, Shift, and E to pick an edge. Now I can drag the edge feathering out for these selected points. Control, Shift, and I switches to pick inner and we can bounce back between editing the inner points and the edge points. Control, Shift, A is the pick any tool, which interactively switches depending on what points you pick and the default selection, Control shift b moves the inner and edge points together. While we have been focusing on the default Mocha keys, you can switch between keyboard setups depending on your host software, like Nuke or After Effects, using the Keys drop-down menu. Or you can also edit and save your own custom keyboard shortcut file yourself, depending on your personal preferences. Here, I will go to Keys and Customize. I will duplicate the default profile and name this new one Mary. 
I like to use the new magnetic shape tool. And I would like to map this to a key. I'll search for magnetic to find the command which is not currently mapped. I'll then enter Control shift m and accept this shortcut. Now I've added the shortcut to my custom profile. We really encourage you to dive into your keyboard shortcut settings and use what works for you. You might discover that Mocha becomes even faster for you. To find out more, please visit us at borisfx.com.